Hi guys! This video is about how the menopause can affect your tendons, um, both causing tendinopathies and maybe delaying your response to treatment that it takes longer for you to recover. Um, in this talk we're going to look at what makes the Achilles tendon so strong so that you can understand why the menopause affects it. We're going to look at what happens during the perimenopause, the menopause and postmenopausal years and then why that can affect tendon injury. So predisposing you to them or delaying your response to treatment. And then lastly, I'll give you three tips that may help your recovery if you think you are being affected by the menopause or perimenopause. Excellent, so my name is Mareka. I'm one of the physiotherapists from treatmyachilles.com where you can get online assessment as well as treatment for your Achilles tendon injuries. You can check out the link to our website is in the description of this video. Now, the first bit is what makes the Achilles tendon so strong? So, if we look at the Achilles tendon, it's made up out of loads of collagen fibers that's packed in parallel to each other. And they are organized in bundles, and the bundles again are packed parallel to each other. Now, I don't know if you ever did that thing at school where they, the teacher, I remember, showed us that if you take one piece of string, you can easily break it. But if you take about 10 pieces of string together, it's really hard to break it. So these collagen fibers that's parallel aligned is what makes it so strong. Now, what happens during the perimenopause and the menopause and the postmenopause to cause the trouble? Your estrogen level starts to drop. So perimenopause is the years leading on to the menopause. So where you start seeing some symptoms that you associate with menopause. So we're talking hot flushes, joint pains, um, struggle sleeping, things like that. And it can last for anything up to 10 years. And it's the gradual drop of estrogen that you then see. Now, menopause, you're classified as being in the menopause if you've not had a menstrual cycle for a full 12 months. Then you are menopausal. And then you have postmenopause where the body slowly gets used to the no, now lower levels of estrogen. And for some people, they can totally get rid of the um, symptoms that they experience during the menopause. Um, whilst others may still experience some of them. But where you used to have estrogen levels up there, you now have slightly lower estrogen levels. That's the important thing. And why is this important for tendons? Well, basically, estrogen is in charge of collagen turnover. So if your estrogen levels drops, then you start taking longer to produce new fibers. The fibers that may not be of such good quality. So what happens is if you do a training session that you always used to do, um, like a hill training session, something hard that really works the Achilles tendon, it may now take that tendon longer to produce the new fibers and things in response to the exercise. Because remember, whenever we exercise, you create micro trauma in your bones, your muscles, your tendons, everything. And that's normal. That's part of our normal daily routine. The body then takes the next few hours to repair it and then you're stronger for your next session. But during the menopause, because it takes longer for those collagen fibers to repair, you're more prone to overuse injuries like Achilles tendinopathy because the microtrauma basically accumulates and then causes an injury. Also, if um, your estrogen levels are low, it may take you longer to respond to the same types of exercise that I would use for somebody who's not in the menopause to get your ten tendon healthier. And also, we may have to be quite slow with how we introduce load and give you a lot more rest periods in between. Um, so that's why the menopause can affect your tendons. Now, top tips for anybody who think they may be perimenopausal or in the menopause or have gone through it already. Uh, let me just get my slide up. There we go. First of all, is take notice of your body. Forget what you used to be able to do. So forget how many times a week you could train, how hard you could train for, all of that. It all has to be reset. Your body is not the same that it used to be. You have different hormone levels now. And hormones are in charge of everything. So start to really take note of how everything feels after a training session. How long do you now need for recovery before things are not sore anymore? you have to really tune into you, to your body. So you've got to look at recovery time. So if you've had hard sessions, do you need a few more extra days than what you would normally have to do? Do you need more things like cross training sessions in there? Fewer running sessions maybe, or jumping sessions, depending on what you tend to do for your sport. Um, so that's the first tip. 
Then the second one is start introducing slow, heavy resistance training. Now, please don't just jump into it, especially if you've got a painful tendon. You have to ease into it because you have to condition your tendons to be able to cope with it. But we know from the research that tendons react really well to slow, heavy resistance training. Um, and it stimulates them to produce more collagen and be stronger. The other thing that I haven't mentioned yet is that estrogen levels that's low also affects the quality of your muscle tissue. It affects your joint cartilage. Everything that has collagen in it, it is affected. That's why we get wrinkles as well in our skin. Um, so slow resistance training will help all of those systems to make them stronger and give you better support. And then thirdly, you could consider HRT or hormone replacement therapy. Now, there's some research studies that suggest that taking hormone replacement can help with collagen turnover and allow your body to recover more quickly. But there's also other research that shows that uh, it's not quite so simple. It depends on what you do while you're taking the hormone therapy and it doesn't seem to be similar for, for um, between different people. But I will say this, there's not a lot of high quality research that's been done on this uh, topic yet. And I will watch this area with quite a bit of interest in the next few years, because I think the more people become aware of this, hopefully the more researchers will look into this. So HRT, it's not a given that it will help, but it may help you. Have a look into it, discuss it with your doctor and see what it does. Excellent. If you've got any good advice that you feel may help people who are in the menopause and recovering from tendon injuries, please do share it in the comments. And also, if you've got any questions for me, feel free to ask them or message me or email me. And if you want to know more about our online service, have a look at our website and let me know if you've got any questions. Take care.